Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 27th of December 2020 and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to inquire about having your own reading, please do contact me. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Also if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And I do thank you in advance. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This is a reading that is dedicated to the sign of cancer. It is a um, channeled reading with spirit to come and give you a warning message about blind spot. So I'm going to turn these cards over. I'm going to speak about one blind spot in particular, the strongest one that is going to be coming out. And um, I'm also going to be giving you a guide message. So I am going to put the guide card here right away so as we don't forget later on. And let's begin this reading. So your blind spots. And your strong blind spot is free will. Now I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is that I mean within the blind spot within free will. Now, what you're currently not seeing right now is that you're out of touch with your free will. Now, this means that in your life in general and in the situation at hand, you need to take responsibility in some kind of way. You need to take responsibility. You need to start taking action as a result of the responsibility in order to feel free and in order for you to feel empowered. Now, freedom really is a sense of being able to think, of being able to speak or to act according to what we want without any hindrance or any restraints. Freedom is something that all people value and it is something that all people need but to a certain extent. It is also a guarantee that because we live with other people on this planet we are going to experience the loss of freedom at a certain point in our life. Free will is essentially free choice. So no matter how much freedom we seem to lack in a situation, we always have it because we always have the choice. Even if that choice is not a choice that we want to make, even if we are choosing between two things, both that we don't, um, that we don't want, now is the time to get back in touch with that freedom. Whatever choice you do have and that you can make. So, responsibility is the opportunity to act independently because you really are the one that has, you know, the duty to deal with something that is autonomously. This makes you the one who, who really is accountable. Responsibility is also required to achieve and to aim. Not taking responsibility is like standing at the end of a bowling alley and just hoping someone else is going to throw that ball for you so that you don't have to be accountable, you know, for the result yourself. This means that you will fail in every aspect of your life. You will be incapable of following through to achieve something. So, responsibility comes with a certain kind of pressure. We could consider that pressure to be the price of free will and autonomy. That pressure is only worth it to people if they can see that they are getting something positive out of it. Out of that pressure, something good is going to come out. Some of the things a person could get as a result of taking on that pressure. Self-esteem, sense of self, personal accomplishment, control, rather ironically, or even freedom. So, free will has so much to do with what makes you an individual, what makes you feel good, what is right for you specifically. And that you have received this sigil because you have trouble chronically in your life with the desire. And when we're young, we have no problem following our feelings and, you know, our motivations. But when someone 
or our survival depends on making a selfish or an otherwise a wrong or makes it hard for us to achieve what we desire in our free will, what do we do? We suppress these emotions as well as our motivation. So basically, the person who struggles chronically with desire and free will has learned that it is not safe to want. So pretty soon, what happens? They have no motivation to speak of. They don't know what they want. They become apathetic. And if you peel back apathy and you look at the raw emotion, the root emotion that is actually there, the root vibration that causes apathy is despair. The complete loss of absence of hope. And this is sheer powerlessness. So it is the ultimate form of discouragement. But this perception of powerlessness is not accurate. It is the residual perception that you adopted from your childhood. You're not a, you know, this is really about believing. Believing that you can do something, okay? Change is not in the hands of anyone else in this situation. It's only in your hands. You can't wait for them to do something to get to where you want to be. You need to make the choices, no matter how difficult, to become aware of your free will again. It's your life. You are the co-creator of it. You came here to live it. You can be free, but freedom comes with a great responsibility and difficult choices with it. Moving on forward now to your guide's message, and your guide's message is all about you are here for a reason. No soul has showed up on earth as a fluke, okay? There's a reason, there's a plan for you being here. Never feel as though you do not have a purpose. Nothing is further from that truth. There are affinite numbers of souls that are experiencing this earth plane at this moment, and you're one of them. So, you are essential. You have a function to serve, not only for yourself, but for all other beings who have agreed to join here with you at the very same time. There is a divine plan that is in motion, and you are an integral part of it. Not any more or not any less than anybody else, the spiritual realms don't attach significance or importance to certain souls. Everybody plays their role equally. So, the human psyche is drawn to comparisons, better than, smarter than, richer than, more powerful, and continue, continue. The guides, they ask you to respect yourself for your courageous, essential, and loved member of spirit that you are. This is a reminder to you that no matter the earthly circumstances, you have purpose and you are needed. And this does conclude your beautiful reading with your blind spot and your guide. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting perspective, an interesting thought or a twist on what might be your blind spot. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a beautiful day, many blessings, and I will see you tomorrow with another message. Thank you for being there.